am a freelance writer. I've written a book and I've written hundreds and hundreds of magazine articles. So I grew up in San Francisco and my mother was really not into cooking. She was a lawyer and I couldn't understand why she always wanted to make the same old baked chicken as fast as she could. And so I was always thinking about cooking and what I was going to cook when I was a little kid because I wanted to eat that stuff. And so I just started looking at cookbooks and taught myself to cook from cookbooks from about the age of eight or nine. I wrote a book about um, sort of testing whether it was better to make things from scratch, you know, cooking things, or buy them at the supermarket. And I priced them and I determined, I tried to determine which was harder, which was better, and I came up with a conclusion. I am, I am a very, very slavish recipe follower. I love to have a recipe. I don't like to be, I don't like to be creative. I like to think, this is going to work if I follow these directions. Um, I'm creative, I'm sort of creative in other areas of my life, like writing is more creative because there's no formula you can follow, but when I go in the kitchen it's like I just want to follow the directions and have something good at the end. I'm not sure how anybody in my family feels about my cooking. Um, my husband is not really a big eater, he's kind of a, he's kind of a little finicky, he doesn't really, you know, he'd, he'd be happy just having canned soup a lot, and that sort of infected the kids and so they sort of, they sort of laugh at it, you know, mom and her adventurous cooking. But I think secretly, you know, I think when I'm, when, you know, you know, in 50 years when I'm, when I'm gone, they will remember these years fondly. Oh, I also do a lot of travel writing for different magazines and, you know, that's a really big adventure. It's completely different from being in the kitchen where you're just sort of stuck at one place because, and it's really fun and exciting to go out and um, be told that your job is to notice things and you have to, and you can't write something about a place without like paying lots of attention to the details, which I don't even do when I go on vacation. So sometimes when I go on vacation, I just like, I'm too lazy to look at the tiles or to go to the church, but if I have to do it for my job, I do, and it's always really, really worthwhile. So I started a food blog because I wanted to write about my uh, intense, passionate relationship with my thousand cookbooks. And so I've been keeping this blog pretty much a couple of times a week. I write in it for four or five years, I think. Um, and I have people who read it regularly. And it's very fun. It's like a little communication outlet for me. And I don't make any money from it, but it's very satisfying to do. My, sort of my advice, what has helped me is not to, th if you think you want to do something and you have a little feeling about it, not to think too much about it, because if you do and if you start to worry and get indecisive, you're never going to do it. It's just to like do something about it, to just act and just throw yourself at something you want to do. And really, really, I, I've never regretted doing that. Sometimes it hasn't worked out, but everything that has worked out has started with throwing myself at something I wanted to do.